Here's a graph which shows us the shape of what's called a Dunning-Kruger effect, also known as hierarchy of competence, but uh, the first stage of that hierarchy, unconscious incompetence, doesn't sound all that sexy. Now, the peak of Mount Stupid, <laughs> it is something I can vibe with. But why am I telling you all this? How does it relate to longevity and living to 150 years old by design? If you have seen my recent trip to Harvard Medical, one of the topics we've discussed there is how continuous education makes you live longer. And indeed, it's one of the 11 fundamental pillars of longevity. And if you are the kind of person who needs a negative bias boot in your bum, <laughs> if you stay on that mountain stupid, you are going to live quite shorter than you could. So, let's learn how to recognize your place on this curve and how to move forward. As I said, we all begin our journey from mountain stupid, and that's where I was about five years ago when I started to rub shoulders with longevity researchers and scientists. How do you know that you are there? Well, the good indication is unbending confidence in your insight. You've watched one video or read one study, and now you have an opinion about everything, and you know that you are right. Here's an example. I've read that statins reduce cholesterol, which is important for brain function, and so I concluded that they cause dementia, and since I have genetic Alzheimer's risks, I have to avoid statins like a plague. Except, of course, exactly opposite is much more likely, according to the latest studies and meta-analysis. But so many people stay forever on that peak, because to continue education, you have to fall down right into the valley of despair, conscious incompetence. That's where you realize that you, in fact, don't know everything, that you must fail many times to learn, and that you will look and you will feel stupid. And it's not a pleasant feeling, because your ego is threatened each time your beliefs change, and it fights back. But I'm here in life and on this platform to face the greatest enemy of humanity, the aging process. So there is no freaking chance I'm stopping for some overblown ego of mine. And the trick which works for me is to mentally count the experience points. It worked like this. Every time you confirm your existing belief, you gain one experience point. When you learn something new, 10 experience points. But when you change your pre-existing belief, then it's a hundred. That's how you get better in a quick way. And so, I'm ready to fail, to be stupid and ridiculous as many times as needed, to move forward and along to the slope of enlightenment and conscious competence. That's why you start to get into your own by actively looking for alternative opinions and making connections. You go away from black and white, true or false thinking, and switch to the degree of confidence, which gets adjusted as the new data comes in from all the sources. You know what you know, and you know what you don't know, and know that there are things out there which you don't know yet about that you don't know. <laughs> That's where I am hopefully now, or at least I have pretty good confidence in that. Will I ever reach the plateau of sustainability, the unconscious competence? Only time will tell, but I welcome you to join me on this journey so we can both learn and live longer and better at the same time. But at this moment you might be asking yourself, what are other essential pillars of longevity and what else other than education we were discussing in Harvard? And so, I suggest you start with the later video, it should be right here. Living is smart, aging is bad. See you there. Goodbye.